November 1985, short and English junior grade. Get ready for the dictation. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Start. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very happy to be with you here today to take part in the Silver Jubilee celebrations. of this engineering college after independence our country has made good progress in all directions in the field of education there has been all round progress but this was not the case when india was under british rule we depended on imports of almost each and every item we could not manufacture even pins and needles in this country we imported them from other countries but after we got freedom we made sincere efforts and started manufacturing all these small things we also built up big industries in our country we are at the present time making a number of items required by a large number of people in their every day life during the last 15 years the progress in this direction has been very satisfactory our idea is to make our country as self sufficient as possible i do not say that we can prevent imports all together it would not be possible in the world of today we have to be interdependent we have to seek the cooperation of other countries as much as possible this is necessary in order to build up new ideas and new techniques in the same manner science is not something which could be called national it is really international it needs the cooperation and coordination of the whole world however it is important that our engineers should conduct their research as far as possible with the use of our own raw materials we must utilize our own resources if we can do that then we could produce cheaper goods we have difficulties on foreign exchange in our country our position at the present time has become still more difficult of course in a developing country we have to depend on foreign loans and assistance but in course of time we have to earn our foreign exchange through our exports we have to produce goods of quality we must also produce goods which are cheaper in price in the world market this is very necessary in order to increase our exports i would like to request our engineers and scientists to bear this in mind they must develop techniques which would give us best quality goods as well as cheaper goods i hope all of you will agree with my view letter dated 5th march 1981 from mr david bombay to mr johnson madras dear sir we have got a considerable amount of printing works with us we hope that you will be in a position to undertake these works 
in all probability you will be getting regular monthly orders for a long period we would like to have your prices for the printing works given in the enclosed list we would in this connection like to request you to consider the possibility of installing modern printing machines in order to enable you to accept our orders we would like to assure you in this connection that you will be getting regular orders from us from time to time we shall be happy to have business connections with you for special reasons into which we need not enter at present we shall therefore request you to kindly write to us in the matter as early as possible yours faithfully